understand what is carriage inward, carriage outward, creditors and debtors. These four concepts, very common concepts and I have seen children making a lot of mistakes in this. So understand, this is your factory making shirts. For example, you are Raymond brand or Louis Philippe brand, whatever you want to choose, choose. Okay, this is your factory making shirts and this is you. Okay, so now since you are making shirts, shirts is your final or finished product, you, you will need cloth as raw material. So you will buy cloth from some other factory. So this is your cloth factory and when you are buying cloth, cloth is raw material for you. Okay, so now how will you bring cloth to your factory obviously you will need some van some truck something to load in and get the raw material to your own factory so the transport which you use and the expenses for transport which you pay to bring raw material to your factory is known as carriage inward remember it is an expense and a direct expense because raw material is coming to your factory. So the transportation cost which you pay for raw material coming to your factory that is cloth coming to your factory is known as carriage inward and it is a direct expense. Remember it is a direct expense. Okay. Now you will process the cloth, turn it into a shirt and then you will sell it to some market. This is the marketplace. For example, say it is shopper stock. So again, you will load the shirts in some uh, transportation means and then take it to the marketplace. So these transportation costs which you incur to take your finished products, that is your shirt, to the marketplace, the transportation cost which you incur is known as carriage outward. Remember, both carriage inward and carriage outward are expense, but carriage inward is direct expense, that is, it is converting raw material into uh, finished product. And when finished product is taken to final marketplace, for that, what transportation is used, it is called as carriage outward. Now, let us understand what is creditors and debtors very, very important. Okay. Now, if this is you, you bought raw material from the cloth factory. If you would have paid cash immediately, the transaction would be over. But in real business scenario, it is not like that. In 95% of the cases, you are not paying cash immediately. It is on credit. Credit matlab udhar. Udhar, that is you are buying now but will pay later. Say that the cloth factory gave you two months to pay. So you took the cloth over here but you will pay, you will be paying for the cloth. Say for example, the cloth is for 1 lakh rupees. So you will be paying for the cloth that is 1 lakh rupees to the cloth factory owner after a month 1 lakh so you have to pay to the cloth factory they are your creditors so simple language mein aapne jab udhar mein kharida hai aur aapko uh, jisne aapko raw material provide kiya hai usko aapko payment karna hai wo aapki liability hai matlab liability matlab dena hai jab bhi dimag bole dena hai dena hai wo liability hai so us liability ka naam kya hai Creditors, कई कई बार आप ये भी देखो जहाँ पर payable नाम आता है, like trade payable, bill payable. Generally कुछ न कुछ आपने लिया होता है या तो promise किया होता है to pay. सब पे, तब payable नाम आता है. So creditors is your liability and they arise because of credit purchase. आपने सामान cloth factory से उधार में लिया, that is credit purchase किया. तो क्रेडिटर्स का जन्म हुआ आपको इनको पैसा आपको इस क्लॉथ फैक्ट्री को पैसा देना है बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर क्रेडिट परचेस एंड दे आर नोन एज क्रेडिटर्स टू यू टू यू एंड दे आर योर लायबिलिटी नाउ अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डेटर्स 
सो शॉपर स्टॉक टूक रेडीमेड शर्ट्स फ्रॉम यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप सब कुछ उसको प्रोसेस किया और फिर उसके बाद टू लैख के शर्ट्स आपने शॉपर स्टॉक को दिए सेल होने के लिए शॉपर स्टॉक टोल्ड यू दैट आई विल नॉट पे यू इमीजिएटली आफ्टर वन मंथ आई विल पे यू सो अब यू एज अ बिजनेस मैन एज द प्रोपराइटर ऑफ योर बिजनेस यू हैव टू टेक मनी फ्रॉम शॉपर स्टॉक सो नाउ शॉपर स्टॉक इज योर डेटर वॉट डज दैट मीन कि सामान दे चुके हैं और उनसे पैसा लेना बाकी है दैट इज एसर्ट दैट इज डेटर्स आर एसर्ट्स फॉर यू दैट यू हैव गिवन करेंट एसर्ट्स इन फैक्ट दैट यू हैव गिवन दिस फिनिश गुड्स एंड यू हैव टू टेक मनी फ्रॉम देम डेटर्स आर आइज बिकॉज ऑफ क्रेडिट सेल्स येस यू डेफिनेटली डिड सेल्स टू शॉपर स्टॉक बट इट वॉज नॉट कैश सेल्स इट वॉज क्रेडिट सेल्स सो यू हैव टू रिसीव मनी फ्रॉम शॉपर स्टॉक बिकॉज ऑफ क्रेडिट सेल्स दे आर योर डेटर्स एंड दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज ट्रेड रिसीवेबल एंड दे आर आइज बिकॉज ऑफ क्रेडिट सेल्स